49-year-old American national Lamont Edward Lipka, better known as Monty, was shot and killed inside his restaurant in San Pedro town on Sunday night. Shortly before 9.30, a man walked inside Tropicana Bar and Grill in Coconut Drive and fired several shots at Monty. He was hit six times with injuries to the face, the right side of the neck, and the back of the neck. And even after Monty fell to the ground, the gunman stood over him and fired more shots. Those shots sent employees and customers of the restaurant running for cover outside. The lone gunman made his escape by running through the restaurant and exiting through the side door. Police responded and found Monty injured and bleeding. Upon inspection of the inside of the business place, police observed behind the counter the motionless body of a male person bleeding profusely with several gunshots wound to the body. What we have gathered so far is that just about 9.25, he was inside of the business establishment uh, behind the cash register when a male person entered the restaurant and went direct to him and fired several shots at his direction, which caused the fatal injuries to him. Police say there is no suspect at this time and they have no idea why Monty was killed. Nothing was stolen from him or from the business. Okay. Is it believed, sir, to be drug-related, his murder? We don't have a motive up to now. We are trying to. Um, we are interviewing some some of his colleagues to see if they have anything that can assist us at this moment. Definitely, what we have so far, there is nothing that they can tie him to any drug transaction or any drug-related offense. According to residents on the island, Monty relocated from the USA to San Pedro about three to four years ago. They say that he was a dive instructor and operated sea tours for a while. But it wasn't until October 2017 that he decided to go into the food business. He leased this property from some Lebanese developers and started to manage the restaurant in November of last year. But like police, those who knew Monty are stumped about the reason behind his killing. One resident believes that his murder may be connected to a pending court case about two boats. Others say it was a murder for hire with drug connections. But there is nothing to support those theories and so they remain as just speculations. According to an acquaintance who wished to remain anonymous, Monty was not known to be embroiled in any issue, so the killing comes as a shock. I'm not sure if you have uh, any business with anybody, but all what I know, I know him is open the restaurant and he work in there and that's it. I'm not sure if you have a problem with other people. When's the last time you saw him and what was that conversation like that you had? Uh, I see him uh, probably like two days ago. I just was walking and tell him hi, what's up, he said good, that's it. Did it appear as if everything was okay, did he seem troubled? No really, I never see him, he have no problem with nobody, I'm not sure what kind of, what happened to him actually, right? Because I know see him, you know, I know see him, he now have no problem, I see the man go upstairs, go down work, and that's all what I know about the guy, right? So when you heard he was killed, I mean, what was your reaction, were you shocked, surprised? Oh. When, yeah, when I heard his skill, actually I get shocked and, and I say, oh, why that man he did? Yeah, I kind of surprised too. I never expected. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.